You are now tuned in to the Arthur Motes Show. We are back, and I'm your host, Arthur Motes, and today's show is recorded out of Total Sports Enterprises, Pittsburgh's exclusive supplier, and signed memorabilia. And today, we're going to be talking about a position battle that's been heating up, dating back to last season, but also this OTAs and potentially in training camp as well. The backup QB role, yes, between Josh Dobbs and Mason Rudolph. Now, like I said, both of these guys competed for this spot last year with Josh Dobbs being able to be the winner of the battle, beating out Mason and Landry Jones, and ultimately surprising a lot of people because at the time, people were doubting whether or not Josh would even be able to make the fifth three-man roster. But I think he carried over that momentum into this offseason. He had a really good and productive spring practice. He looked a lot more uh, experienced. He looked a lot more confident out there and a lot more consistent, which is key. Now, when we talk about Mason, Mason was young last year, but like we talk about a lot of times with these young players, going into year two, they make big, big jumps. And during OTAs, he was one of those guys that was making a lot of moves in terms of looking a lot more confidence, having a better control of the offense, but also showing that experience, showing that comfort in the playbook. And I think these are all the things that are going to help him in terms of, of the position battle. Now, with Josh Dobbs, for example, when we talk about the growth that he showed last year in his second year in the league, he looked a lot more comfortable with the playbook. He used his athletic ability when he needed to, but also showed really good touch in his passes, especially on the deep ball, which is obviously seen during the preseason, especially in that Green Bay Packers game. Now with Mason, I think that when we talk about the ceiling, right? He has a very high ceiling in terms of his passing ability. I think he could be a very prolific passer in this league, and you can see why the Steelers invested in a third-round draft pick in him. Whereas with Josh Dobbs, I feel like he's continuing to grow as a passer and has shown flashes, but I would like to see a lot more consistency with him, but his athletic ability is definitely what sets him apart from the two. I think also when you think of his experience from being in the league multiple years now and then actually having a full season to be Ben's number two guy, I think that is going to help him out a ton in this position battle as well. I want to see more so not how these guys act when they're with the first team offense, because when you're with the ones, they really just don't have to mess up. Everything's in place for them. You have the best old line. You have a high quality running back, a trio of running backs. You have elite level receivers as well. Now, when we talk about the number two offense, that's where you're going to see these guys because now they're going to have to make the guys around them better. They're going to have to make the guys around them rise up to their level. And I think Josh was able to do that last season. And I think he's ultimately going to be able to carry that over this season. But with Mason, this is where we get to see if he's really going to take that next step, which we see a lot of young guys make. So if he can take that next step, I think this battle between them two is going to get really interesting come preseason and training camp time. Right now, I'm personally leaning towards Dobbs just because of the veteran experience that he possesses. But ultimately, I don't think it's going to be an easy task for him because Mason is very hungry. And from all the reports that I've heard and from what I've seen at OTA practices, he's looked really good. So you know what to do. Let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Who's going to be the number two QB this season? Always appreciate you tuning in. And until next time, peace.